Hi guys, Perfectly Pleasant Sense by Pauline here, Pauline Cooler, your independent sensey consultant. And this is going to be part two of the sniffing session of the new spring summer scents. So we did on the last one, we did all of the fruity scents and all of the new scents and the florals. So we have left the woodsy scents, the bakery scents, the spice scents, and I stuck licensed in there. There's a couple new licensed scents. Citrus and a whole bunch of fresh. Let's see if we can get it all done in this one. So I'm starting off backwards. I'm going with the woodsy scents, which is the very last in our new catalog. So, woods. The very first on the woods list is Bonfire Beach. Bonfire Beach is green. So, it says, Toasted marshmallows smoldering over white flint and sandalwood harmonize with salty sea air and ocean spray. Sounds good. It smells good. Um, it's a very light scent. And when I think bonfire, I think, and woods, I think um, like a, a burning wood scent. Um, not smelling any of that. Um, what do I smell? It says air and ocean spray. I want to say it does smell like the fresh air ocean scents. White flint and toasted marshmallow. Maybe just a hint of sweetness. I don't really get any burning scent. I would say this is like a fresh, clean air with maybe a toast, a touch of marshmallow. I wouldn't really classify it under woodsy. Um, I would have said a fresh scent, but it's nice. It's not very strong. Okay, so next is one of the new scents, and I am skipping over all of the new ones because I've already reviewed those in the very first one I did. So the next one would have been Coastal Sunset. After that is My Hero. So My Hero is Cool Citrus and White Birch Ride a Current of Crisp Air, and it's a dark navy color. Matches my shirt. Yeah, so... This is a more masculine scent to me. I do smell like the crisp air and the coolness. It doesn't say anything about musk, but I smell like a perfumey musk smell. I don't know if I smell white birch or Maybe a little bit of citrus, but I'd say fresh air, coolness, and like a perfumey musk smell. So woods are usually the more masculine manly scents, and I would say this falls into that category. So the next is Best Seller Mystery Man, which I had been skipping all the ones that were very familiar to people. Gee, it smells a lot like the one I just smelled. Um, white cedar, verbena, and bergamot. Yeah, it smells a lot like my hero. They're both the same color. They're both fresh, masculine, musky scents. Okay, so satin sheets. Sensual and earthy sandalwood, perfectly paired with rich, warm vanilla. This one's not bad. This would make a good bedroom scent. I smell vanilla and sandalwood. It's not perfumey, really. Not musky. It's not bad. Maybe a touch of a perfumey note, but not much of it. It's not very strong. Yeah, it would make a good bathroom or bedroom scent. I mean, you could put it all over your house too. 
but it's very light, so I don't know if it'd be a big scent thrower. Okay, next is Sheer Leather, which is also very well known. Um, doesn't a touch of leather. It says slip into something more sensual like bergamot, a subtle hint of leather, and sandalwood. So it's like a touch of leather with the bergamot and sandalwood is what I smell. These have been around forever, so I'm trying to quickly finish this category. Weathered leather smells just like leather. New car, new leather clothing, new purse. That's exactly what that is. Okay, so next is our spice scents, which there are only two for spring and summer. Sorry, I've separated all my things into baggies so I get a more coordinated type of thing to stick them in. Um, it was easier for doing this. Cinnamon Vanilla and Welcome Home. So Cinnamon Vanilla. Inviting blend of vanilla beans, cinnamon, coconut, and cassia. Hmm. And it's like a beigey color. I don't know what cassia is. I smell vanilla. I smell cinnamon. I don't know. I don't know if I smell coconut. I'm getting it all over me though. Um, there's just something else there. If it's coconut, it's not strong. It might be the cassia. But that's not bad. It's not like it's not like the fall spices where you're like, ooh, spice in your face. It's a lighter vanilla cinnamon spice. All right, welcome home. It's purple, it's been around. Um, it was around for winter too. Cinnamon and spices. Yeah, and that's what that is. It's not, I feel like for winter there were several that were very, very similar in the scent. So that's that. Um, I wanted to throw the two new scents for um, the licensed in here, which are Mickey and Minnie scents. So, oh boy, is the Mickey Mouse scent. And I want to read it to you. In honor of true original juicy grapefruit, cherry mixed with bright clementine and sugared vanilla in a one of a kind, just like Mickey Mouse. Mmm, and that smells good. Ooh. Definitely smell grapefruit and clementines. Ooh, I like it. I think this is one of the best ones I've smelled so far. It smells like it would be a decent scent thrower. Some sugar, there's definitely sugar sweetness going on. The grapefruit, the orange, very citrusy. Ooh, I like it. So that's the color of that one and that is, oh boy. And I will be buying some of that one. And then totally mini. Part classy and part sassy. The sweet blend of pink melon, hibiscus blooms, and juicy apple is full of fun and totally mini. And it's pink because mini. Hmm, that one's nice too. Melon. Melon and flowers. And, and it also smells like it's not quite as strong as the oh boy, but I think it would be a decent thrower. I definitely want this one too. Yeah. Melon and flowers. Maybe a touch of apple. But mostly melon and flowers. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so those are both yeses. And we're done with those categories. Next is bakery. So I'm, I am going to skip the ones that were around for winter. I think I threw those into the last ones, but it's going to take too long because there's tons of fresh. So first one is almond croissant. Almond croissant was around for winter. Um, it's very strong powerhouse of a thrower and it smells very strong of flaky almonds. Almonds very strong. It's good, but you got to like a nut smell 
in your house because it's very nutty. Next is apple butter frosting, which is also around for the winter. Cinnamon, buttercream, a frosting scent, spices. Apple, apple cherry strudel, um, I believe was also, I think most of the bakery scents were already around. Um, I don't know if I've smelled this one, so let's smell this one. Apple cherry strudel. Granny Smith apple, cherry, and vanilla drizzle insist on dessert first. That's yummy. Definitely apples. Yeah, I smell apple, I smell cherries, vanilla. I feel like I smell a touch of caramel, but it doesn't mention caramel. But very appley. Yes, if you like bakery scents, that's a really good one. Um, baked apple pie was around. Blueberry cheesecake has been around forever. That is a powerhouse scent. So if you don't know that scent, it smells just like a blueberry cheesecake. Your whole house will smell like it. Butter pecan was around. Mocha doodle. Mocha doodle is not new, but it's new for the season. So delicious roasted coffee beans and cocoa balanced with sugar, caramel, and heavy whipping cream. Mmm, it smells like a mocha coffee. Yep, yeah. and it's brown. And this is the only chocolatey scent for the summer. They, the other ones were gone and discontinued with... Okay, sorry about that. My dog was barking, so... Okay, so after that came sugar cookie, vanilla bean buttercream again, and the new vanilla waves, which I reviewed in the other one. So the bakery category is almost completely staying the same with the exception of the new vanilla waves which is a very light vanilla it is not like vanilla bean buttercream which is a very strong heavy scent thrower smells like baking um vanilla waves is a light salty vanilla very light and that is it for the bakery category so next is we're moving on oh wait citrus I haven't done citrus citrus okay so next category is citrus so citrus is the first one is be fabulous bright limoncello sparkles against splash of ruby grapefruit and sweet sugared musk not big on musk oh I definitely smell citrus I don't really smell musk. Lemons, grapefruit, and sugar. Ooh, I like it. It's kind of fabulous. It's it's not bad. Okay, next is Blue Grotto, which is always around, so I'm skipping that one. And then Coco Lime. Coconut milk, creamy vanilla, get energized with a citrusy splash of fresh lime. And it's great. Okay. I smell lime. I smell lime. Ooh, lime, lime, lime. Oh, it's nice. Um, sorry, my dog is distracting me. Do I smell coconut milk and vanilla? I don't know, but I smell lime. So that is a probably a powerhouse. I know this is also in the cleaning line. Probably a powerhouse scent thrower. Fresh and limey. Okay, so next is coconut lemongrass. That is always around. We are skipping. After that is Havana Cabana. Luscious, I love these summer names. Luscious medley of pineapples, oranges, bananas, and berries. Ooh, all the good things. It's light yellow. Hmm. I was expecting this to be very strong with all those berries. It is super, super light. Oh, it's so, so light. It's just like a light citrusy scent, but very light. Pineapples, oranges, bananas, and berries.
it's just a very light, I mean, it's fruity, just a light, light fruity scent. Oh, I wish it was stronger. Okay, next is lemon sorbet. Fresh cut lemon, grapefruit zest, and sugar cane. Also light yellow. Okay, definitely lemon. Sugar, lemon. Yeah, probably some grapefruit in there. It's not bad. It's not a huge scent thrower. It is probably a medium scent thrower. But that smells pretty good. Lemony. I like it. Okay, so next is lemon verbena, which is also... Um, I think that was... Maybe it wasn't around at Christmas. I'll sniff it. Fresh lemon zest, a bright lime, and verbena leaf. It's green. Hmm. Okay. Lemon, lime, and there is definitely a more greeny scent to it. Must be the leaf. Yeah, where it's not just fruity, there's something else there. It's not bad. It's okay. Um, probably a medium scent thrower. If you like lime and lemon, I would say check that one out. Next is Paradise Punch. A medley... Doggy, I can't play with you right now. A medley of wild Indian oranges and sunny lemon juice. I'm going to say this wrong. Acai, acai berries. I, tell me how to say that word. Um, and star fruit. This color. Ooh, I like it. Paradise Punch. Yes. Ooh, punchy. A medley of Indian orange, lemon juice, those weird berries, and star fruit. And I know lots of people know what those berries are. I just don't know how to pronounce it. Ooh, I like it a lot. This is going to be one of the top of my list ones. One of the first ones that I am going to buy. Um, yeah, Paradise Punch. That's I feels like that will be a strong scent thrower. My dog does this thing where she'll bring me every single toy she owns if I'm ignoring her. So if you hear noises, she's just going to keep bringing them over. All right. So next is Sand Swept, which was new. So we've already done that one. Then bestseller squeeze the day, which is like a very straight up lemon with a little hint of vanilla scent that is around all the time. Sun kiss citrus, which is also around all the time, which is a very orangey grapefruit scent, which I do like that one. And the new tangerine creamsicle, which we've already done and I love it. Okay, so moving on from the citrus category, I'm going to get all my scents mixed up again and I spent so much time separating them. We're going to fresh now. Fresh is our last category. I should be more organized. I was much more organized for my last one. All right, fresh is a huge category and I even feel like a lot of the scents should be under, I feel like almost all of the scents should be under fresh. Um, okay. But I'm going to skip any of the well-known ones that have been around. So, number one, Aloe and Ivy. Aloe and Ivy have been around. Aloe Water and Cucumber. I am skipping Aloe Water and Cucumber because that's been around. Amazon Rain has been around forever and is in all the cleaning and laundry products. Atlantic Air. We'll do Atlantic Air. A refined veil of ocean mist, sea salt, and white orchid. Hmm. It's blue. Oh, okay. It's very light. There's a lot of light scents for summer. But I do like it. Now that I'm, like, rubbing on it, trying to... Sometimes that, like, warms it up a little bit. Um... I do smell the orchid. I do like it. With like a fresh, clean oceanness to it. It's my dog's ringing a bell. With the orchid. I do like it. So that's Atlantic Air. 
bestseller by the sea on um, ocean and sea is wafting through dewy seaside grass Daisy, be a good girl. Okay. Freshness, ocean, fresh ocean, seaside grass. Dog is sneezing now. Fresh ocean. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's something else there. Maybe it's the seaside grass. It doesn't smell like grassy. So that one's not bad. Next one is Clean Breeze, which I'm skipping because that's been around. Clothesline, I'm skipping. The new next one is New Coral Waters, which I've already done, and I do like coral waters. Um, which is a nectarine, peony, and coral waters, it says. Next is French Lavender. Pure herbal fragrance of wild lavender from the hills of France. And I like lavender. I like it. It's very, very light. I feel like this would be a really good bedroom scent. Because it's just such a nice lavender scent. But I would put this everywhere in my house too. Because I really do like lavender. Probably the more I'm rubbing it, the more I can smell it. Um, so it's a little stronger. So it might be more in the light to medium category. But yes, I do like it. Inhale, exhale is next um and uh, i think that one's been around i also think i had it earlier and it's not here yep okay um iridescent pearl is next iridescent pearl Lustrous layers of ripe, juicy mango and apple blossom wind down with tranquil water lotus. It's green. Ripe, juicy mango, apple blossom, water lotus. It smells nice. Apple. Probably some mango, some flower scent in there. Not really apple. Did I say apple? Flower, mango. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, next is Jammy Time, which has been around. And then Just Breathe, which is a bestseller of eucalyptus, lemons, and mints. Next is Lavender Cotton. Find your magical moment in purple lavender, soft cotton, and daisy blossom. Ooh, that smells nice. Lavender cotton. Daisy blossom. I do like it. It does have a touch of cotton in it, though. So, like, I smell the flowers. I smell the daisies and the lavenders. There's an underlying cotton where it would probably make a good bathroom or laundry scent line cleaner but there's a lot of floral in there so I would say try it in your whole house and see if it smells a lot I mean it's definitely a medium to stronger scent thrower next is the new magnolia linen which I've already gone through you smell magnolia but I think it's the linen smell is stronger so I feel like it does smell nice but more laundry detergent-y smell to me. Maybe I will warm that one and I will be shocked. Then the next one is also new. It's the Make a Splash, which was melon, apple, and turquoise water. After that is Newborn Nursery, which smells like baby powder and has been around for a long time. After that is Now and Zen. Now and Zen, Sunny Grapefruit Balances, Common Chamomile, and a yin and yang kind of love story.
okay. Not too strong. I smell grapefruit. I just smell like maybe there's an underlying tone of the chamomile. I just smell like a light grapefruity scent. And last is pink cotton. Now my dog wants to go out. She does not want me to make this video. Pink cotton. Find your fantasy on a cloud of clean cotton swirled with fruity pink berries and vanilla sugar. Oh, that's nice. I smell berries, sweet berries. It smells like light, a very, a light fragrance of sweet berries. Hmm. Daisy, stop. I don't know if I smell the cotton like I do with the ones that say linen. I don't know. I feel like I could smell the cotton in lavender cotton. Not necessarily smelling it in pink cotton. Strange. Maybe when it's warm. And that is it. I, we have completed all of the new scents and the newer to me summer scents. And we just didn't do the ones that have been along right through the fall winter. So overall, I would say there's really none that I don't like. I don't think there was a single one that I was like, that's just going to go far, far away. Um, most of them, I would say, would be in the fresh category. They all smell kind of fresh to me, um, which isn't a bad thing. Summer, fresh. I mean, I think that kind of goes together. The standout scents for me, I would have to say, is the lilacs and violets one that we did in the last video, which is amazing. Paradise Punch from this video. The Mickey and Minnie scents. Hmm. And I like the lavender ones. Those are like the standout fragrances. Coral Waters, I think, too. I liked a lot. That's one of the new ones. But there's a lot of, I mean, they're all nice. Some of them are very light. A lot of the new ones are very light. Um... I think with the lighter ones, you just have to warm them and see. Once I warm them, I'll have a better idea of whether they're a good scent grower or not. But I'm excited to warm them all. I would very much like to buy all all of these scents for summer and just see. Oh, that would be expensive. <laughs> um, and, and see on warm what they all do. Because I do like a lot of them. Okay, so that's it for the scents. The other things that are going on, besides my dog playing with her toys, is on Monday the 18th of January, Sensi is releasing their Valentine's line. So it, they just announced it today that it's releasing, so I don't have anything to show you. Um, but there's a couple of warmers, some whack wax bars that kind of I can't remember what it's called they just announced it before I did the video that's kind of like a best it might be best friends they kind of go like this next to each other and that's a set two wax bars and some oil scents for the oil diffusers but some really cute valentine's things so if you follow my page, um, which is Perfectly Pleasant Sense by Pauline on Facebook, I will be posting pictures of the Valentine stuff on there. 
So that comes out on the 18th. Um, the one that came out last Monday, the sleeping bundle is still available. If you would like the nice calming sleeping scents. I feel like a lot of these would be really good for calming sleep scents. Like the lavenders and the jammy times and stuff are also very good for sleeping scents. Um, my dog is spinning now. <laughs> so I think that's it. And then everything new starts on February 1st. Um, we're all trying to finish off the winter stuff, which is 10% off of the wax bars and the discontinued warmers that there's a lot of. No, you don't want to see the people. So, anyway, I was going to have the dog jump up here, but she doesn't want to. She's a Sheltie, and she's high strung and high maintenance. So, anyway, squeak, squeak. Um, that is it, and this is the new catalog, and there's all kinds of new, wonderful things in here. It's going really fast. Um, that are coming out soon. But don't forget the winter things that are going away. Because there's some good, really good things going away too. So you want to grab the things, Sensi Club. You can get make a club subscription. Um, on my website, it says club. You go into the club. You pick your date and time that you month. You can do it every month, every other month, every three months that you decide that you want to have this subscription in, like any other subscription, it's free and it just like sends it automatically. You choose your scent. So I just made a club and I put some of the new winter scents in there and I put, um, I did it last month. So I put the going away, bring back my bars in there that are no longer available. And I did some ones that I hadn't sent, smelt yet. So that when I get them, I can warm them. And if I don't care for them, then I will take them out of my club and I will put in something else or I won't put anything in. It Your price depends on how many things you have in your club. And you can have one thing in your club or you can have a hundred things in your club. But that would be very expensive. Um, so that is a great thing too because then you can also, if you're like me and you put wax in your warmers every single day, if you have a club, it will automatically come to you and you don't have to think about it. You don't have to stop and go, oh, I only have a couple cubes of wax left. And you just, it, it's just going to come to you. And with all of these really nice summer scents, that would be a great idea. And if there's some of the winter scents that you just love, I love Cider Mill. Oh my gosh, love Cider Mill. Autumn Road Trip is really nice. Caramel Apple Craze. Oh, I love Caramel Apple Craze. Um, so if you have some of those scents that you love, you put some of that and then you put some of the summer ones. You can also add other things, any stuff that you would run out of, cleaning products, bath products, um, that type of thing. You can add any of the wax bars, the oils, any of that can go into a club. You can't put warmers into a club. And the great thing about the wax bars is that there's... If it runs out online and it sells out, you can probably still get it in a club if you get it right away. And they haven't always get my bar feature. So like with the bring back my bars that I put in my club that ended um, in December, as long as I leave them in my club and I don't take them out, I can get those bars forever and ever. If Cincy stops making th that they stopped making that scent. They're still going to make it for me. If four years from now, I am the only person that still likes that scent, they are still going to make that for me as long as I leave that in my club. And that's an amazing feature. So that's great. And I just have that coming to me. I think I picked, I think I probably have 10 bars in there. And that's I set it up for like every other month. So every other month those will come. So they're going to come at the end of the month and then I'll have them come in a couple more months. And there's also a thing where if you spend $60, 
in your club, not including shipping, that you get a half off item from any of that stuff in the club. So whiff box is in there. If you don't know what a whiff box is, it's a it is a mystery box that comes since he has available every month. So it only comes if you are put it in your club or if you order one separately every month, but they are a $30 box. So if you use that as your half off item, if you reach the 60, you can get a whiff box for $15. And there's always more than $30 worth of stuff in there. And it's usually cleaning products, body products, wax bars. Sometimes there's a sample of the next coming scent of the month for the next month. But awesome thing there also is bricks the big big bars of wax there's not every scent available but there's a few scents that they have available that you can also get that for half off so a lot of great ideas if you want to do a scentsy club so something to think about you want to sign up with me my website and information will be at the bottom and as always please like and subscribe my channel and share and thank you for watching see you next time guys bye